Okay, guys, it's recording. Okay. Clap her. Okay. Hey, all you foxy females out there. Welcome back to my hit basement for another very exciting episode of Long Skirts Do Flirts. Because you lovely ladies have been so loyal to us, we decided to do something a little special on today's episode. Now, we have letters, voicemails, and video calls from girls on all seven continents. We would like to give you beautiful viewers firsthand the magic that is Long Skirts Do Flirts. Okay, we have our first voice message from a caller in North Dakota. Okay. Hey Penelope, so there's this boy, Kenneth. I'm totally into him, but I just don't know what to do. I try to put my growl power on, but every time I go up to him, he says, you get away from me, you're ugly, and I hate you. What do I do? Sincerely, hopelessly in love. First of all, hashtag yikes, girlfriend. I know when he insults you, it might lower your self-confidence about. However, this is actually kind of beckoning for your love and affection. That's right. So, mm, here's what you gotta do. When he starts to insult you, gently place your pointer finger on the center of his lips, hushing him like a small babe. Then, in a voice just above whisper level, say to him, Yes, can it's fine. I'll date you. Then watch your future relationship blossom before your very eyes. That was great advice, honey. <laughs> I know I would go to you if I ever had problems with the male species. <laughs> okay, gal pals, we now have a video caller all the way from Djibouti. Hi, Angelica. So my boyfriend Rick is sort of a bad boy. After Juvie, his therapist advised him to take a dodgeball to release his deep-seated anger. My parents don't understand what I see in him and have forbidden me from calling him my bae. SOS. I feel like if you just sat down and had a mature conversation with your parents, that would really aid the situation because they love you and want what's best for you. Girl, you gotta get out of there. Yes. First, I have three questions for you. One, do you possess a large cardboard box? Two, do you have food that can travel easily? And three, do you possess any level of street smarts? If so, take the necessary steps to receive emancipation from your parents' custody and run like the wind. And now, we have a piece of good old fashioned snail mail. Dear Marv, you are my favorite member of the Long Skirts Sisterhood. You inspire me to reach for the stars and be the best I can be. Your beauty radiates like a shooting star in the midnight sky. I don't know how- Marv! Marv, this is your handwriting! No! Marv, no one else dots their eyes with many unicorns! That's a normal thing! Marv, this is a serious advice column for girls who really need our help and you totally took advantage of your power. How could you be so insensitive? Marv, you know what you must do. Okay, ladies, that's all we have time for today. We know that your flirting futures are bright. Don't forget that my skirt! Marv! Girls, is everything alright down there? Mom, everything's fine! What do we do? I think my clavicle is broken. She can of becoming flirty foxes. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter at, at Marv is Bay. Just remember, if you believe, you can achieve. That was great. <laughs> Quiet. All right, chicas, sayonara. Bye, ladies.